I'd like to talk to you guys about robots and some of the more disturbing ways that we interact with them, starting in childhood. Think about a place where you feel happy and calm. Moving all the way into adulthood, where people are using AI robots exactly how you might think. Moxie is a robot designed for childhood development, and it's been touted by some psychologists as being beneficial for children to learn language and how to interact. What Moxie can't do is teach children that others can react poorly to their actions. We know how our first friendships affect our lives, how they teach us to interact with others, socialization and childhood. What happens if you're being socialized by a robot? This is one of the reasons that people have turned to robots as a form of social engagement in relationships, even when they already have real human relationships. We know that people take out their anger on these relationship bots, abusing them. Adult robots are becoming rapidly more affordable, with some of the lowest models for things like real dolls being just around eight to $10,000. Companies like Tesla have eroded our trust in robotics, having people behind the scenes controlling robots remotely. However, I assure you companies like 1X are making real robots that can do real tasks. We've seen a lot of this technology separately, but adding the ability to speak, like something like OpenAI, which most of us have used, is not that great a leap. We have an awful lot of things in our lives that we exchange for real interaction. I like social media because I can turn it off. Telling your friends to get out of your house is a lot more difficult. but. What does it mean for us when we are substituting so much of our social interaction with something that can't say no? How many of us have had bad relationship stories? Having something that you purchase that you can assure is not going to harm you, at least emotionally, mostly. Having something that doesn't have boundaries, what is that going to do to us as a society? And I'd wager to say it's not good. 